Welcome to DG945's uh, new tutorial on how to make a custom UI for Halo Custom Edition. First what you need to do is open up Corman's new editor uh, that, that he released as new tag set. Okay. Now to make this simple, first you need to make a new folder in your levels in your tag slash level folder called UI. Okay, now open up test and tutorial and double click scenario. Okay, once you have this loaded, we are going to do, be doing multiple things to this. Uh, first, click type and change that to main menu. File, save as, and put this in your UI and name it UI.scenario right here. And save that. And here we go. Okay, now what you need to do is that scenery and the scenery palette can are fine. You do not need to delete this. Uh, if you're having problems with file size, I think that you might, but th since we're using the tutorial, it should be no problem. Okay, uh, this is what you need to do. You need to first delete all vehicles. Uh, I haven't played around with that. Uh, I'm not too sure if that, if it's happened, but it gives me problems, so we're just not gonna do it. Okay, sound scenery can stay. Player starting locations is a must. You need to delete that, or else you will get exceptions. Same with net game flags, and same with net game equipment. And starting equipment, eh, you don't need that. Just takes up room. Okay, so from here everything looks all right. So save that. Stop. All right. Exit of Corman and open up your version of Sapien and op open up your UI dot scenario. Uh, while this is loading, uh, I just like to tell you that I did make pre, uh, you know, pre-made camera points. But if you need how, if you need to know how to do that then all you do is that in the game window once it loads up I'll show you in the game window you select camera points and then once you're in there you maneuver to wherever you want looking at and you press the spacebar and you should rename it okay so this is what I'm talking about right here um, you know here's your tutorial now you go to game data and camera points and as you can see you know it's already done for me and everything but it's just a simple kind of straight through shot and it goes back as soon as possible okay but if you want to make a new one this is what you need to do select your point that you want to do it at so for me mine would probably be around here and you click enter and from there you name it whatever you want so I'll use cut nine and you just keep doing that for however long you want to. Then cut 10. And so on and so on and so on. Okay, so that should be fine. I mean, we're not going to be doing anything major here. Okay, so once you have all them placed and everything, then you should first go to save scenario and just minimize this now go into your data levels and then make a new folder called UI and then scripts and you want to have a script called this What you really should do is copy this down and I'll explain this to you after I place some things. Okay, so first off, let's let me replace this real quick. Okay. Let me explain some things to you about this script. Uh first off, you want to have a startup script where it sets the camera at a certain position, aka your start position for your background video. So you set there and you put the time to zero so nothing is wrong. 
Then you go on to your continuous command, which automatically loops it forever. So you'll have a quite a you know <laughs> you'll have quite a background in there. Uh, what you should do is that you should change these to 100. Although 200 is a little overly dramatic, 100 is a little fast, but since it's a tutorial, yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I assume that you have this all completed. Um, it sh should be pretty obvious to you if you don't. Uh, okay, so go into Sapien, and you need to go to. Oops, sorry. You go to compile scripts. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. Okay, save scenario. Okay, now go to compile scripts. Scripts compiled successfully. Yay. Save changes. Okay, so we're back in to this. So open up your command prompt. Type tool build cache file levels slash UI slash UI. And this should read the UI that you have made and compile it. Uh, it should be a nice size. So there you go. Uh, let me load up Halo real quick. Now, if you while Halo is loading, just to let you know. Uh, if you wanted more detailed thing, I'd watch D Halo's tutorial. Uh, it explains a lot more. And as you can see, your new main menu is working. Uh, the sounds aren't perfect. Uh, I'm not too sure how to fix those, but. Uh, I'm sure that someone on the forum <laughs> would be willing to explain it. Uh, and right here it'll get a little fast because I'm lazy and I don't feel like making a whole lot of camera points. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me uh, on the Gearbox forums or I am me. Uh, my AM is OMG H4XMB. Thank you very much and hope you have fun.